Hey folks, I've had a number of requests for catalogs, going through a catalog, and I just haven't had a lot of catalogs cross my path. So I, I did get this one, this is the first one I've had in a while, and it's a Father's Day summer edition of California car covers. Now, that sounds like might be pretty boring, but I think they have some other stuff besides car covers. They talk about collectibles and car cleaning products, so we'll see how it goes. And Maybe boring's okay if, if you're just looking to relax and, and fall asleep, but let's take a look at this catalog. So there's some of these different products. Let's see the contents. Here's some idea of what's going to be in here. Featured and unique, I guess that's sort of where we are now. There's cars, trucks, SUV covers, RV covers, car cover accessories. That part we might get through quicker. And then there's vehicle protection, interior protection, car accessories, express order form. There you go, that'll be important. Cleaning products, maintenance and garage, recreation lifestyle, collectibles collectible neon signs and apparel so we'll see we'll look through some of those things and see what we find in here so there's a little brush set for cleaning your car there's some t-shirts old guys rule never wanted to have that t-shirt no matter how old I was or him Here's a chrome-plated scale model of a Cobra, 427, 1 twelfth scale. They say there's only 100 pieces of those worldwide. Here's a 1956 New Yorker, St. Regis Custom by Acme Diecast. So that's also a little collectible car. Here's a spotlight and a power bank. Here's how to measure your car cover. And then here's showing many of the different types. Or I guess some of the extras that California car covers has. And I will say these are good quality car covers. They're not a sponsor or anything, but they do make good car covers that actually fit your car quite well. Even if you have customizations on your car, you can tell them those measurements and they'll make a car cover that fits your car really well. And they have different ones that are more suited to outdoors and different ones that are more suited to a garaged car and other things. So you can see some of these things, these different, what they call custom weave, plush weave, satin fleece, dust force. Ultra weave. It's almost like if you're looking for a uh, car cover, you might be overwhelmed by how many different options and types there are. Ultra weave, sun armor, super weave, supreme weave. They have some cool cars they have as examples for these covers. Mustang, looks like a Cayman, Porsche Cayman, looks like a 55 Chevy, a newer Mustang, a classic Mustang, that looks like a, a Camaro, or maybe that's a Vet, yeah that's a Corvette I think, there's a new Bronco, that looks like, I don't know what that is, is that an older Porsche, Not only, only a little corner of it, no, I don't know what for sure that is, here's a truck, Another late mo later model Mustang, an SUV. Looks like a 61 Impala. That looks like a 56. You try five Chevy Chevy guys would know for sure, but I think that's a 56 Chevy. Looks like a Ford SUV, a Mustang. Different cars and they have covers for your RVs. Seems like RVs are getting popular again. And then here's things like your car cover bag, your ropes and 
connectors and locks, tire covers. It's kind of interesting. I never had a tire cover before. And what is this? Indoor car capsule vehicle storage solution. I guess you drive up onto that thing. Long term storage of your car or truck. Car capsule capsule seals the vehicle in a purified environment, so I guess it's like a sleeping bag almost. Well, no, I guess you go up on this thing and then put your car cover over it. That's uh, interesting. That covers for your motorcycle. I have like an outdoor car cover set up for that kind of capsule idea. Oh, we have bras for your car. And they give you, you can get those wraps, um, like a clear bra for your car. They'll make a special one for your car. Windscreen, custom made floor mats. I didn't know they had floor mats, so they also have floor mats apparently. With your car logo and brand on it. They also have rubber floor mats. Those are the ones for carpet. Diffuses window glare. Custom dashboard covers. I see. Hmm. I guess they have seat covers as well. All different types. rear protection so more seat covers gel seat covers a patch a pet bench seat cover license plate frames Okay, now we're into cleaning products, so you can get your your dusters, duster sets. This one's got the long handle, so you can get across the roof. This one has a special shape to clean your wheels. Original California Dry Blade. Patent pending V-Blade design is is the economical and compact original California dry blade made 100% medical grade silicone. The blade conforms to a wide variety of shapes and easily removes water without scratching or streaking. Hmm. I don't know. I'd be worried about scratching with that, but I guess they say it doesn't. I, I've never used something like that. It's kind of like a squeegee, but for the car body itself. A nice garage stool. And you're going to detail a car. It does take some time. Sometimes it's nice to have a stool you can roll around on. They have their wash and shine bucket kit. More wash brushes. And then they have their foamer. These foamers have gotten quite popular. Foam Pro E12. This is a pretty big, fancy one. It's got battery power. Hmm. Specially designed for the creation of long-lasting pressurized foam, the IK Foam Pro E12 has an onboard battery pack that provides up to one hour of continuous foam, no pumping required. Powered by an 18-volt ion lithium battery, in just two minutes you have 10 liters of thick, rich, and dense foam at your fingertips. The applicator wand is trigger activated for easy application, ideal for pre-treatment or pre-wash with wheel and tire cleaners. Engine bay degreasers and interior carpet and upholstery includes three attachment tips for intermediate foam, dry foam, and wet foam. And then here's one that's just run off.
off the hose a foamer kit. Doesn't have a a motor, I don't believe, or anything. That one's just powered by the water pressure. Then you got your different wash nozzles, your wash pads, all this detailing gear. Polishing towels, microfiber glass towel. These microfiber towels are nice, and nowadays you can get fairly inexpensive ones too. They used to be kind of hard to find, but even these cheap ones work pretty well for a lot of applications. They have some more expensive ones here. Different cleaning products. Here's a glass coat. Glass Master Cleaner, Clean and Clear for windows and mirrors. I haven't used um, any of the car cover cleaning products. Frankly, I wasn't even I didn't even know they made them until recently, so I didn't know that was an option. Well, they make pretty good stuff, so I wouldn't be surprised if it works all right. Here's Instant Detailer. Microfiber laundry detergent. So, I'm going to use special laundry detergent. Golden Shine Clay Bar. Ceramic Spray. Add shine and protection to your vehicle's paint with our Golden Shine Ceramic Spray. This easy to use spray will prolong the life of your ceramic coating, plus, provide a glossy and slicker feel to your vehicle. Don't have a ceramic coating on your vehicle? Use our ceramic spray to increase the water repellency, scratch protection, and pollutant resistance on your vehicle's finish. Each treatment will last up to three months. There's Headlight Restorer. We have hazy headlight lenses. Here's a waterless car wash. I guess that's kind of like a detailer as well. Uses a dust and capsulated formula to clean and care for a vehicle when a traditional water and bucket car wash is not a possibility. Just a spray bottle. Here's a deta wheel detailing kit of brushes. You can clean your wheels. And they have their wheel cleaner spray. Golden Shine Metal Shine rejuvenates stainless steel, chrome, and nickel and aluminum. And then Metal Polish. That's um, probably more abrasive. That's probably the main difference between the shine and the, and the polish. There's Polishing Claws. A trim tire and trim dressing. I think that makes it shiny. You want shiny wheels, shiny tires. Sometimes in your car show you might want that. Undercarriage spray. <clears throat> Tire and trim spray. There's your wheel and tire brush set. So that's more of a scrubbing brush. Here's a bunch of polishes and waxes. We've got sort of classic wax in a can, wax in bottles, premium wax, cream wax, sparkling glaze, swirl remover, ultimate paint polish. Then you've got your buffer, buffer here, or polisher. Always a Larry of using those machines myself. I'm always afraid I'm going to go too far. Here's your bright shine to go kit. So you've got some clean and clear, waterless car wash, and quick shine spray, and a bunch of towels. That way you have a, all your stuff for on the road, or you arrive at your car show, you can 
detail and touch up your car once you get there. There's a whole tote kit, golden shine. Various assortment packs of these cleaning, car cleaning products. Sort of mix and match kits here, I guess. Kits of rags and cleaners and polishes. And lots of cleaning products. Okay. Okay, and here's some interior detailing items. So you got a, looks like a vacuum set up. versions of, they've got a pro series, a compact series, and a portable vacuum. And then here's remove grease and grime with a heavy duty portable steamer. Oh, we've got this card falling out. I'll get rid of that. Cleaner and degreaser. Go-to cleaner is a powerful all-purpose cleaner that quickly and safely tackles any dirty job from bird droppings and tree sap to greasy engines and tire rubber. Workbench power station that I guess gives you lighting and power. Outlets and LED lights. And I guess a place to put your phone. So it's got some USB chargers. There's your drain pan and tool storage. There's a floor duster. A work mat. This unique roll out work mat features. A silk screen 35 inch measurement guide as well as conversion charts for fluid weight and temperature. The neoprene mat has non slip packing that is resistant to solvents, oils, and dirt, and a thermo fiber top layer that provides firm cushion surface, ideal for garage, workshop, desktop, or job site. A, uh, oh, there's your towel dispenser, and here's your fire extinguisher, this park spot mat that tells you where to stop, so how do you get that to stay, oh double sided foam tape that holds the mat in place on the ground, galvanized drip tray, a heavy duty shop ringer so you can ring out your towels. There's a little cordless tire inflator. Don't know how long that battery would last. There's a rolling shop stool. An electronic train horn. It's an interesting product. $155 essentially. State-of-the-art, fully electronic train horn engineered to fit into the engine compartment of cars so you can give your car a train horn sound. It's an interesting product to mix in with all these other things. There's jack stands and jack pads. Oh, I guess those aren't the stands themselves. They're just the pads. There's your garage bodyguard so you don't scratch the car when you're working on it. A super cushy kneeling pad. We need those to protect our knees. We're going to be crawling around on our knees at our age. There's a super cushy body pad when you're working under the car. And garage parking light. So I guess that's the same idea. So you stop at the right place. Don't hit anything. There's a utility light with a, on a stand. A storm shield garage door bottom seal kit, 
Oh, I see. So you put that on the garage door to keep the air out. Or keep the air in, I guess, either way. Here's race ramps for your car. Keep your tires from flat spotting with these rounded ramps. There's front end covers. You can lay that over your car so you don't scratch up the paint by laying your tools on it. You can get those, you know, with their car brands and makes and models on them if you want. Got Chevy, Mopar, Ford. A lot of different car makes and models. Lots of battery tenders. You collect cars, you tend to have a lot of those laying around. Or need a lot of those to keep all your batteries charged because you can't drive all these cars. So you end up needing a battery tender to keep the batteries alive. A lot of people, they want to get a classic car. They don't understand all that's involved in having car like that. Here's a jack. Low profile jack designed to lift most low pro profile vehicles such as street rods, race cars, or classic cars. So I guess you have to turn that with a ratchet to bring that up. And here's these rolling wheel stands. I don't even know what you call these, but you can put the car up on these wheels and then roll it around. I guess a dolly. That's the word I'm looking for. Car dolly. With a race floor jack. Here's a garage set. Oh, I see. So that's your whole rolling storage seat and storage The Magic Creeper, zero ground clearance. So it's a very low profile creeper, I guess. And then you can put a mat under your car, a waterproof mat. Okay, now you can do garage flooring. So they also do that. So you can put down this kind of diamond plate or other pattern flooring. I've seen people that have that kind of thing, and it's pretty cool. There's a, a light that I guess you hook onto the hood. It's interesting. Here's an emergency jack that plugs into the cigarette lighter. Hmm. Ratchet tie downs. There's a chair. By Easy Up. Looks like it folds pretty small, a little hard to tell in that photo. There's a car canopy. So if you don't have a garage, but you have a driveway outside, but you want your car covered up or protected somewhat, there's a number of different folding chairs. I've got one similar to one of these that folds up very small, fits in the front trunk of a Porsche that doesn't have a, that, that has room in terms of cubic feet, but it has limits top to bottom, side to side, so things have to be certain sizes to fit in there. So it folds up kind of briefcase size. So here's a bunch of signs. Let's see, what size are these? So that one's 13 by 26 inches. So these are pretty big. I guess you put those in your man cave or in your garage. Got V8, Mopar, Nomad, Studebaker, it looks like. Ford one. Different signs for your garage. Oh, a whole bunch more. like a 57. Here's a classic car madness. More steel signs, I guess. You got a Bronco, a Mustang, a Chevelle, Camaro, different ones. Here's some tin signs. There's big boy hamburgers, 25 by 15 
inches. Um, we actually have one of these signs. <laughs> we have the one that says, if I agreed with you, we'd both be wrong. Uh, that looks like the similar size to the one we have. I think we got that out of vintage or garage sale or something. We got that sign. Let's see, are these also signs? Yeah, we got more signs here. These are motorcycles. Here's a speedometer clock. An eight in one entertainment center. It's also an odd item to have in here, but okay. Whether you prefer your favorite music on vinyl, CDs, or even streaming, the Crosley 1975T Entertainment Center has the look and feel that is pure 1970s but with a bit of modern technology. Play 33 and 45 records, CDs, or even tune your favorite AM FM radio stations. Built-in Bluetooth receiver for listening to all your favorite digital music wirelessly. Features full range stereo speakers, bass treble control, adjustable pitch control, and external headphone jack. Here's a... Uh, model kit of a Porsche flat six engine check out how it works so is this a kit you put together yeah you build it one quarter scale so that's gonna be pretty good size well I guess not so it's, but it's not tiny this is a air cooled 1966 911 2.0 engine the legendary engine comes to life with the belt activated cams, light up spark plugs, and genuine Porsche engine sound effects. Includes all tool necessary, requires three AAA batteries. It's $199, well, essentially $200. Here's a V8 model and model kit. Shows you how it works. Step by step diagrams will guide you through the process of constructing a simplified working version of a real dual overhead cam V8 engine. This model has clear casing for viewing of the working electric motor and light up spark plugs and features real ignition sounds. Includes all tool necessary. Also requires three AA batteries. It's only $75. Here's a little jukebox radio, so it kind of has the style of a jukebox, but it's freestanding. Here's some clocks. Car-themed clocks. There's a cat clock. Okay. And here's a bunch more of the collectibles. So this one's a 71 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Looks kind of cool. Pretty detailed, pretty expensive too. $140. Here's a 1970 Chevrolet Nova SS. 54th International 500 Mile Sweepstakes. Looks like that some kind of a Hearst um, designed car. A 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Super Sport. A Dodge D300 Michelin Ramp Truck. Here's a 1954 Porsche 356 Pre A. Pre 356 model was built on the premise of creating a lightweight, speedy two seater with enough horsepower to make it truly fun to drive. This exquisite 118 scale model is a hand painted and polished to a beautiful finish. Features Include opening doors, a highly detailed interior, chrome accents, authentic livery, and real rubber tires. That one's $65. Here's a 
Here's a 69 Ford Mustang Boss 429 in Candy Apple Red. I don't think that's technically Candy Apple Red, by the way. That looks like just a plain red. I think a lot of people don't know what Candy Apple Red looks like. Acme Custom Edition 69 Chevrolet Capo Camaro. I think that was a special edition. The 1969 Capo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. C-O-P-O Camaro. Was packed with Fire Fury. I've, I've heard about this car before, but I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. The, the 1969 Capo Camaro was packed with fire, fury, and stunning good looks. The team at Acme have put their own spin on that classic with a custom paint scheme set off with a black rear spoiler and black wheels. There's a 68 Firebird Drag Outlaw Edition. And another those Dodge D300 rat uh, trucks. This one's a different paint style. The other one was Michelin. This one's Rat Trap. And here's this 1970 GTO Moonlight Goat by Acme. you got a few cars represented there. Here's some more. Here's a Mustang. Looks like a early Mustang. A 65 Ford Mustang. Mighty Mustang by Acme. There's a 72 Chevrolet K10 4x4. Here's another one of those Capo Camaros, 1969. Here's another, oh, this is a different truck. This is a 1967 Chevrolet C30 Holly Speed Shop paint shop. And here's the Oh, I think they got the title wrong on that one. That's a 57 Chevy, but it, they put that same title of the 67 Chevrolet truck again. Accidentally, it looks like, looks like a typo or, or printo, I guess you might call it. Here's a 57 Ferrari 355. That's $280, $281. A Dodge Dart Swinger. Here's a 70 Ford Mustang wide body. I don't think that was ever something Ford did. That would be some kind of an aftermarket setup. Here's another one of those Dodge D300. This one's the Mongoose and the Snake. I guess you get both trucks. Or no, I guess they're sold separately. But they have the Mongoose and the Snake. There's your diecast display with LED lights for your diecast models. Here's a single display case. Oh, rotating. Interesting. Put your favorite model on display with the rotating showcase. This 10-inch display features a high-gloss mirrored finish to show off the vehicle's details from every angle. A two-speed motor runs on one D battery. It doesn't seem like it's square enough to rotate all the way around, so I'd, does it rotate back and forth? I don't know. Here's a 66 Ford GT40, Le Mans edition. There's a mini plush weave car cover for your car. That's funny. Oh, I see. I guess this rotating... I don't understand these two things. I guess... Oh, I guess the rotating display is down here. I got confused what I was looking at. Here's another display case for your... I think that's for smaller cars. Several display cases. Lots of... Okay, now here we are with neon signs. Okay, so... You can get your neon sign. What size are these? They, do they say how big they are? These ones... They don't all have measurements, so... This one's 41 by 14. A Goodyear blimp. Thunderbird is 40 by 14. It's a different size. Here's a, this one says giant neon sign. So those were standard. And these are giant. So it's 28 by 59. So that's pretty tall. Almost 5 feet tall. That spark plug is 5 feet tall. So is the Goodyear sign. And that um, these are uh, 
$1,850 each for the larger ones, for the giant ones. And I guess you can go online and they have many other neon signs available. Here's Junior Neon Signs, Monte Carlo, El Camino, Goodyear. So again, you can probably go online and find other, other ones. And then they have Neon Clocks, those are $80. Different cars. Chevrolet, Ford Mustang, Bronco. Ford Bronco, different cars, different makes and models of clocks. And now we're into some apparel, it looks like. So they've got shirts, and t shirts, and sweatshirts, Chevy apparel, Moon, the SoCal Speed Shop, that old guy's rule stuff, and then your California. Custom car covers, shirts, as well as some hats. Different car makes and models, the moon thing, SoCal, the old guys rule, some of those same types. So, I guess we've reached the end of this California car cover catalog. Father's Day is June 18th. I hope you found this video relaxing. If you like the video, click the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. It does, it does me, I appreciate it. And if you are a subscriber, thank you. And most of all, thanks for watching the video. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.